Hey there! If you assume the Amazon App Store is all your Fire Stick offers, you'd be incorrect. There's an entire hidden app store accessible through special downloader codes that turn your device into a hub of unlimited entertainment. I'm referring to movies, live television, and even premium sporting events. Everything available within seconds. In this guide, I'll reveal the top codes of 2025, the safe method to use them, and the hidden app stores Amazon wants you never discover. So let's not waste any more time and dive in right away. Start by going to your home screen and finding that magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your controller. A keyboard will show up. Next, type Downloader. It should quickly show up as a recommended option. Scroll down, choose it, and hit the center button one more time. This brings you directly to the proper app, which is orange. Let's get it installed. Hit the center button on it, and the app's information page will load. Simply hit the center button once, and the download begins. Allow it to reach 100%. Staying patient is key right now. Once it finishes, you'll notice Launch Now, but hold off on launching it right now. Since it shows Launch Now, hit the Home button on your controller. After that, we definitely need to enter your Fire Stick system menu to adjust a crucial setting. The fastest way is to navigate all the way to the right side of your home screen. A settings option will show underneath. Scroll down and we're searching for the choice called My Fire TV. If your unit isn't using the latest software, My Fire TV could be found in another spot. If you have an older version, the label could be My Device. Whatever it shows, this is the choice we must choose. Proceed and choose it. On My Display, Developer Options is already visible. If it's not there, don't worry. I'll rapidly demonstrate the steps to activate it. Go up and choose About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV chosen, quickly tap the middle button nine times. A notification will show up stating, Congratulations, you are now a developer. When you see that, tap the Back button, and Developer Options will now show up in the menu. Let's access Developer Options right now. The initial option is ADB Debugging. Tap the middle button to switch it to the On state. If a little dialog box appears, scroll down and choose Allow. Next, choose Install Unknown Apps. You'll certainly find Downloader listed right there. You could notice additional applications as well. Navigate to Downloader and tap the middle button to turn it on. On certain older Fire Sticks, this particular option might not exist. Instead, it could show apps from unknown sources, and you can just toggle that single setting to on. If that's what you notice, simply activate it. After that's done, tap the home button on your controller. Now, let's find that new downloader app. The easiest approach is to navigate nearly to the bottom and choose the symbol with three squares and a plus mark. This page shows every single app you've got installed. The most recent applications always show up at the very end. Simply navigate all the way to the bottom and you'll quickly locate the app you just added. Let's launch Downloader right now. If a little window instantly shows up, simply tap the middle button to close it. This application lets you access almost any website. To type a URL, Tap the middle button twice. A keyboard will show up so you can type the web address. Right now, I'll take you to my exclusive website. I'll show the address on the screen while I type. Be completely sure you type it exactly, or you could encounter a connection error. Go slowly. Pause the video if I'm going too fast. Once the address is properly typed, choose and tap Go. Let's wait for the download to complete. If you happen to see a connection error or a check link notification, it means your service provider is preventing the connection. Just turn on your VPN or change its location, and that should fix the problem. Once the download completes, you'll be asked to install the app. Slide over and choose Install. Once the installation process completes, slide over and select Done. Right after you select Done, you'll return to this page. Now slide over, select Delete, and then once more, slide and choose Delete. That's all the downloading we need from the Downloader app right now. 
tap the Home button. After that, we must return to the Fire Stick menu to change one last important setting. Remember, navigate all the way to the bottom. Choose My Fire TV or My Device, then access Developer Options. And one more time, go to Install Unknown Apps. Choose that option. Now you'll notice Unline is appearing in the list. If you notice other apps, scroll down to choose Unlin and tap the middle button once to turn it on. After everything's configured, tap the Home button one more time. Next, we must find the new Unlin app. Remember, just navigate over and choose the symbol with three squares and a plus mark. All your apps are on this page and the most recent one is always at the end. That's where you'll see the Unlin app we just got. Let's launch it up. The first thing it requires is a new library. Tap the middle button on your controller twice, just like that. Another keyboard will appear, requesting the specific library code. Friends, I designed my very own private app store, offering access exclusively to my loyal viewers and subscribers. I put an effort to stock my store with only the best, latest apps, all I ask for my work, keeping the apps current, producing this video and replying to your questions. Is that you tap the subscribe button? That quick click tells me thank you for giving all of this at no cost and a massive thank you to all my subscribers who are already following me. Now that you're a subscriber, proceed and enter this code. Be sure to go slowly. It must be typed exactly as shown or you could see an error. If I'm going too quickly, just pause the video. When you enter the code properly, choose and select next and let the library to load up. Welcome to my private app store. There are 70 incredible apps here for free, on-demand content, live content, live sports, and much more. People frequently request, which are my top choices. My personal favorites for cord cutting are featured right in the welcome note. Many subscribers also inquire about VPNS. I've included an important notice right here. So please take a brief moment to review all the information on the welcome page. After you've reviewed everything, tap the middle button on your controller three times. This will instantly organize my store for you. Navigate up and down for categories or right and left for the apps inside them. Right now, I'll show a few options, walk you through how the system operates, and how to start enjoying your free content. Now scroll down through the categories until you locate category number 13, cool YouTube examples. The first app I highly suggest downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my absolute top choice for staying secure and anonymous while using all these applications. Some people experience issues installing or launching apps because their internet provider blocks the connection. Using IPVanish VPN protects you and circumvents any throttling or blocks from your provider. To download IPVanish VPN, you can choose it and select Download. Or what I like to do to always guarantee I get the newest version is go back to the Fire Stick homepage, locate the magnifying glass, scroll down, select the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type IPVANISH. Sometimes you will need to enter it in completely to make it show up, so just go slowly here. Enter it in exactly as I am. Then you'll see it in the suggestions. Choose and tap the middle button. On this screen, select the app from the options, and in this menu, tap the middle button to start the installation process. Once it's installed, tap the middle button to open it, and you can sign in. Don't have an account yet? No problem. I'll show a really simple way to obtain one so you can stream safely and access all these incredible apps. Get your phone or computer and open your browser. Navigate to the website address shown on screen or simply aim your camera at the QR code to get there instantly. The link is also conveniently added in the video description and the comments area. Choose a plan. Even one month is sufficient to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After you successfully register, they'll email you your username and password. With those important details, your Fire Stick will be secure and private. Sign in to the IP Vanish app and tap Connect. There's one critical setting I want to demonstrate. Tap the gear symbol in the IP Vanish app. A menu appears. I've selected Connect on Android Startup. 
if you turn on this setting, you'll never need to manually remember to turn on your VPN every time you start up your device. It'll connect on its own, so you never need to pause your movie just to verify if your VPN is active. It just takes care of it for you. Now that you're completely protected, let's start getting some more excellent apps. Tap Home and go back to your applications. Launch the Unlin app once more and return to the same category. Here are the next four apps I recommend for on-demand shows, sports, and live content. You'll locate four more applications to download here. Be sure to read the descriptions so you understand exactly what each one offers and how to use it. Here's the first one. You'll locate an app for live channels, special events, and more. Select it, tap, download, and now we'll simply wait for this to reach 100%. It could only take a few seconds if your internet is fast, or somewhat longer if it's slower. But regardless, this download step always finishes. So just stay patient and let it do its thing. This depends on your internet speed and the file size how long it could take. But when the window appears, select Install App, slide over, and tap Install. Now it's going through the installation, so we'll wait until that reaches 100%. This step can require a bit longer than downloading, but really, it's totally normal. And once it's complete, we'll be ready to continue. Following that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can instantly grab more apps. Next, you'll see an app specifically designed for sports. Choose it and tap Download. Here comes another progress bar. All we have to do is let it climb to 100%. Based on your internet connection, this part could zip by or take a brief moment. Don't stress though, it's just part of the procedure and we'll be continuing right after. When you see the small window, select Install App, slide over, and tap Install. Based on your particular device, this could be quick or take a moment, but regardless, it always finishes and will proceed as soon as it does. Now, look for an app that provides you both movies and TV shows. Choose, select, download, and let it finish. We'll wait here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I understand it feels like we've done this step, but it's all part of the necessary setup. Just stay with me. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the following step before you realize it. When the install window appears, select Install App, slide over and select Install. Now some apps in my store actually require a separate player to work properly. The one you just obtained for movies and TV shows is exactly like that. You'll notice the title clearly states it requires another player. It could seem a little confusing at first, but the description clarifies everything and it'll make complete sense once you start using the apps. Let's obtain that necessary player app now. Locate the app, select Download, and wait for it to complete. Almost there. Just let this one to load all the way up to 100%. I realize we've had a few of these waits already, but that's simply how the procedure goes. Stay with me, it won't be much longer, and when the window appears, install it just like before, and that's everything. We just grabbed four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel restricted by what I've shown here. My top favorites are conveniently positioned in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them every day. Browse the store and download as many of the apps as you wish to try. Now, I know we just added some truly fantastic apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you launch any of these, I always suggest activating your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes and supports this channel. It means so much and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for spending your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.